Hello guys, how we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hours. It's Luke here and it's West Ham versus Brighton at 7.30 on Wednesday and this is our preview of that game. They're currently sitting in ninth um, on 18 points. Not a bad season for them. They're doing okay. They play some nice football. Grand Potter's a bit of a media darling, you know, constantly linked with jobs when they do come up. I know he's linked with a Tottenham job. There were rumours about the Arsenal job when Arteta was under a bit of pressure. Um, they play good football. You know, they're very, um, they're a positive side. They play very good possession football. But we'll go over that as and when we go on. Um, the last game they drew 0 0 to Leeds, a game they was booed in. Um, and Graham Potter did in his post match interview sort of lose his rag a little bit. It was like, well, what, what do these Brighton fans want? They need to sort of remember where they came from. And Brighton remind me of what, um, sort of what we were few like years like years ago like sort of when I first started supporting the club back in the early 90s you know a sort of up and coming played good football um but never really touch any touch the sky you know um but yeah their last nine games though they've not won they've not won in nine they've drawn six and lost three so you can maybe understand the slight frustration that they've not won a game for a while um they like to play a 3-4-2-1 formation, three at the back with the wing backs. It more goes into a five. They play that sort of fluidity that Wolves played under Nuno Santos um, a few years ago. Um, their top players, Lamp Lamptey, what a player. You know, right back. How, how many of these full backs are Chelsea going to keep uh, banging out? You know, Reese James at the moment. You've got that Liveramento at Southampton. And you've got Lamptey as well. All came through the Chelsea Academy. Um, made some amazing fullbacks in there. Uh, another player I like is Trossard, really good player, love scoring a goal, good feet, um, in and around the box, top, top player. Um, I've also put Basuma in there, a player that I would, if we were to ever sell Declan Rice, is a player that I would look at in Basuma. Um, you know, very strong, very hard working, um, and would fill that gap if Declan Rice or when Declan Rice uh, was to be sold. Also, Mupai as well, I do like Mupai, he does score goals. Um, yeah, decent little player. Out for them, Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck, um, you know, former Manchester United and Arsenal player. He is out for this game, so we won't be seeing him. Um, the last five games against them have been draws. We've never actually beaten them in the Premier League. Um, a real definition of a bogey team. They remind me of like when we used to play Everton back in the day. Of it. We sort of override that bogeyness of Everton recently, but they're bright and are definitely becoming the new bogey team. Um, when we play them. Um, their strengths is winning possession. They're very quick, they're good at pressing and they win the ball back very, very quickly. Uh, coming from behind, also, when they are 1-0 down, they have that character to bring themselves back, you know, turn draws into wins and, uh, and you know, losses into draws. Um, protecting leads is also a good thing. So if they do take the lead, they could be, become very, very stubborn and hard to beat because they do like that possession football. Um, defending set pieces, aerial duels. We know about Lewis Dunk. He's big. He's strong in the air. Um, whip. They play with a lot of whip, like I say, because that fluidity. The whip, uh, the fullbacks turn into wingers and they drop back. The, that whip is always there naturally. I don't know whether you guys see the highlights of the Leeds game. That Lamp team was just incredible. Like up and down, up and down. Whoever plays up against him is going to be in for a really tough, tough game uh, on Wednesday night. Uh, short passing, like I say, possession football, and they're very aggressive. That's how they win the ball back. In weaknesses, guys, only listed three. Uh, finishing, uh, they do have a hell of a lot of chances in games, and I think they have the most, uh, sorry, the least um, conversion rate in terms of the chances created. They're, they're very unlikely to put them in the, the least likely in a prem. Uh, defending from counters, something we're good at, not in recent weeks. Um, and long shots as well. They're, they're, they're very uh, not prone. Uh, sorry, they're prone to conceding from a long shot. Um, I looked at the records. Potter versus West Ham. He's played us four times. Potter as a manager uh, with four draws. Uh, Moyes versus Potter um, is three draws. Um, and Moyes versus Brighton. So this will go back to his Everton days. Um, was He's beat them once. Uh, drawn three times and lost once as well. Last time we actually beat them was 2012. I was in Belfast visiting Paul, actually. Um, it was a 6-0 win. Obviously, Vazte scoring three goals. I believe he scored a bicycle kick in that game as well. It was a really you know, surreal game that was back in 2012. Um, for us, um, looks like Cresswell should be okay. I've not read anything. Um, 
but who knows what will come out in the next couple of days. Um, I would expect us to go back to four at the back, um, unless he wants to sort of match them with the formation to try and, you know, counteract their wingers. But I, I don't know, I think we need to go back to sort of what we're really good at. I want to see Lanzini come in. I personally, maybe would drop Ben Rama. I think Lanzini um, deserves, a, you know, a shot now. He's been good last few games. Um, and, you know, there is something there. Someone made a really good point in an article I read. Let me know what you guys think. Would anyone else have scored that goal in our team? Um, I'm not denying that Ben Rama, Fornells, Bowen, all top, top players, all technically very, very good and can score a goal. But would they, their mindset, would they have gone for the shot against Man City in that situation? Or, you know, would they try and play a pass or, you know, maybe take a player on before having a shot? Is Lanzini at the moment, until someone like Jesse Lingard comes in, that person who can create that, little bit of magic like that um let me know is there anyone else in the team that you think could score that sort of goal um and and would have gone for it in that sort of situation there let me know if it'd be very it's a interesting it was a really good article as well um if the team is fully fit um you know we would go i, I personally would go with obviously fabianski and goal Sufal would come back in for me uh for johnson you know just to give him a little bit of a, uh, a rest play the Played a few games now, um, and just will give us that attacking threat again, Sue Fowl, that maybe Johnson doesn't have. Maybe Johnson has got the real good defensive capabilities, but his attacking side is still lacking at the moment. But that's no, I'm not discrediting the young lad. He's, you know, it's all part of his learning curve. Uh, Cresswell, if it, obviously we'll play at left back, Zuma and Dawson. Um, it has to be Sochek and Rice because of his no one else. I personally would like to see Sochek get a rest. Um, and maybe go Crow and Rice, something we've not seen a lot of. Um, and then Lanzini at the top. And then obviously Fonals and Bowen needs to come back in and start with Antonio at the top. There is arguments maybe that Rice could be taken out as well. Because obviously Rice is only one booking away. And then he'll miss the Chelsea game, which we don't want to see. But um, yeah, I, I would like to see Sochek rested. But I don't think we will see it. I really, really don't. Uh, arguments for Vlasic maybe as well. Giving Vlasic a game. In this game, but it is a must win. We, we, you know, we do have to. We've got to win this game. Chelsea's going to be tough. Chelsea have drawn their last two games in the Prem as well. Um, you know, so going into that game on Sunday, it's going to be a tough, tough test, um, and they'll need to bounce back because Man City and Liverpool are coming strong behind them. You know, and they, they will. You know, Liverpool look like they're back to what they are after losing to us. They, you know, they're blowing teams away again. So Chelsea will need to get back on. So it's going to be a tough, tough couple of games this season. We need to break that bogey. We really, really need to break that bogey on Wednesday night. Um, and hopefully we do. Um, I'm going to predict... I'm going to predict a draw, actually. I think this might be a 2-2. Um, I just think... Again, it's just that bogey thing that's stopping me saying a win. We should be good enough to beat them. They haven't won in nine. Uh, we've, you know, we've beat some good teams recently. Although we've had a bit of a little bit of a blip with the Wolves and the Man City game, we weren't expected to beat Man City. And the Wolves game can happen. You know what I mean? The Wolves, the Wolves games is just something that can happen. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know your score predictions. Let me know what you think about Lanzini and the goal. Let me know whether you would change the formation in any way. Whether you would stay at five at the back. Um, yeah. And please subscribe, guys. I think we're four away from 3,600, which is incredible. Until next time, come on, your irons. Keep believing. Let's go.